Good afternoon. We now know who killed two students at Aztec High School yesterday. A 21-year-old man who then turned the gun on himself. Police say the shooter, William Atchison, blended in with students to get into the school yesterday morning as buses were arriving. He then walked into a second-floor bathroom to prepare for his attack. He had a Glock. The first victim, Paco Fernandez, went into that same bathroom. Police say Atchison ambushed and killed him instantly. He then walked out of that bathroom and shot and killed the first person he saw, Casey Jordan Marquez, before going into a computer lab where a class had already taken cover in a closet. They say he then opened fire, shooting through the wall, but none of those shots hit those students. He then turned the gun on himself just as deputies and officers were entering the school. The San Juan County Sheriff calling this an act of cowardice. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is live at the sheriff's office with more details on the shooter's motive. Jeannie. Kim, after investigating the scene all night and morning, San Juan County Sheriff's and state police say this was a planned attack by Atchison. Officials say Atchison was living in Aztec with his parents and was a student at Aztec High at one point, but never graduated after moving to Aztec from Berlin. They say he planned his attack and called him deranged and twisted, and that he got into campus by blending in with all the students as they walked into school. San Juan County Sheriff's say they found a note of his plans of the shooting that was broken down to the hour. In the note, Atchison says he planned on dying if all his plans went right. And then a note found on a thumb drive that said he hated everything, hated his life, and wanted it to end. Officials called him evil more than once. It's just a shame that he wasn't on our, our radar. Uh, I don't think he had as much as a traffic ticket or anything else. The FBI did say they got a tip about Atchison in 2016 after he posted a threatening message on an online gaming site. They interviewed him and his parents, and at the time, he was cooperative and did not even own a gun. State police say Atchison only had one gun during the shooting with multiple magazines. He purchased that gun last month locally and legally. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie.